Welcome back. We will be doing a repeat of the linear regression example except with the logistic regression case and a slightly different example. So, what I have written here is a very short code which is an OR gate. So, notice the OR gate is now given as four different examples 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and I have given the corresponding ground truths here y here is simply the ground truth for 0 0 it is 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 also 1. And like we did in the linear regression I have given a learning rate I have given a reasonably high learning rate of w equal to 1 or alpha equal to 1 and epsilon the stopping criterion let us make it a little bit smaller maybe let us make it 10 power minus 3 okay, just to sort of see how the whole thing proceeds this is obviously not good enough in general. So, we will see how it works. Now, I will show you the code with the comments, but the one I will be running is here the one without the comments. So, the general logistic regression code you will notice um, you know this is there in the week 5 material on the NPTEL website you can copy it from there is more or less identical to the linear regression code. Okay. So, it is remarkably identical you will see this term is the same this term is the same the only place we start differing is here. Earlier in linear regression we had only this term w 0 up till w and x n which was simply w dot x there is a small typo here please ignore that. So, we have sigmoid of w dot x which is sitting here. I have defined an inline function for sigmoid and the only thing that changes from linear regression is instead of having just z which was the output for linear regression you have sigmoid of z as the new hypothesis function. The other change is in calculating the loss function the loss function is now the binary entropy loss function. Otherwise the error terms etcetera remain exactly the same in fact even the gradient terms remain the same um, you can or you may or you may remove uh, include or you may include or you may remove the 1 by m term. Okay. I have chosen to include it just so that I could use the same code this is just a lazy man solution if you wish you can remove the m otherwise the gradient term is calculated in exactly the same way and finally we calculate the loss once again based on the sigmoid. So, let us run this code for the OR gate and see what it gives. You will notice these four points these are, these are our original data points and the classifying line actually moves from an incorrect classification slowly up and technically speaking this has already correctly classified, but we have set a st certain stopping criteria. So, it will move till that stopping criteria is met. Notice also that the loss function j is continuously decreasing. Okay. So, please notice this. Um, you will notice that as the loss function decreases you can hardly notice any change in the classifying line. You will also see that the classifying line is not quite the one that we had given theoretically which had gone through 0.5. As I mentioned in the previous video this actually depends on what your initial conditions are. So, if your initial conditions are different you might get a slightly different final classifying line. The whole point of this exercise, so this is obviously a very simple exercise with the OR gate you can try it with AND gate if you wish and you will get a slightly different classifying line. Um, so, if you try with different initial conditions you will get different classifying lines. The advantage of logistic regression is it will give you an answer of course, it will give you some local minima it might not it might be good or it might be bad with four data points it turns out that it can be reasonably good okay, with this. Now, if I wanted to do the AND gate example all I would need to do is change these. Okay. I, if I change this to 0, this to 0 and this to 1 and play with this which I would recommend for you uh, please change all your uh, data points and check what kind of gates it classifies. In fact, I would even recommend that you try and do the XOR gate which is simply this one change to a 0 and see what it does. Uh, you will see that in the case of the XOR gate that J actually saturates very early it does not keep on decreasing and it gives an incorrect classification because as we had discussed in the XOR video XOR is not linearly classifiable. Okay. So, it is not uh, it is not linearly separable data OR gate happens to be linearly separable. So, this is a simple code I would encourage you to play with it look through the code and kind of 
compare this with the linear regression code and see what you can notice overall. Thank you.